It's day three at the National Astronomical Meeting in Llandidno, where one of the hot topics is dust in our universe. I have here with me Dr. Hayley Gomez of Cardiff University, who is a dust expert. Hi Hayley, could you tell us a bit more about dust, about what it's made of, and uh, is it like the dust that we get on our sideboards at home? Hello, um, well it's not like the dust that we see at home. Uh, it's very different, but it's called cosmic dust. It's dust in space, it sits in the, the regions between stars and galaxies, and it's basically the name we give to solid particles, so anything like little rocks, so an asteroid is a big dust grain, in fact the Earth is a great big giant dust grain, so we're talking about things that are made of carbon, things that could be made of uh, glassy materials, even diamonds and gems, so anything solid, and we're talking about as soon as they become solid in galaxies, they're little dust grains, and some of them grow a lot, but a lot bigger and become Earth planets. Okay, uh, we've got a model of uh, Herschel here. Now, I understand that you use Herschel to st study dust. Uh, why do you use Herschel? Well, Herschel is perfect because um, it looks at infrared light, infrared and submillimeter light. And what dust does is actually a, a fairly big nuisance to astronomers. It blocks out a lot of the visible light from galaxies. So you can have lots of stars, but it's hidden behind this dust cloud. And it's basically like smoke. So it's like being in a smoky room. The, the dust blocks out the light and we can't see it. But there is a kind of uh, silver lining because the dust blocks the visible light but then shines that light back in the infrared. So if we have an infrared camera, we can see directly the starlight that the dust has blocked. So what Herschel does is Herschel observes that very long wavelength, far infrared, some millimetre light, and it sees directly the emission from these dust grains, the light from these dust grains that were hidden from our cameras, from our optical cameras. And Herschel is uh, not only a space telescope which makes it fantastic because it's very sensitive and it gets away from all that nasty infrared radiation on the earth uh, but it's also the largest infrared telescope built three and a half meters diameter which makes it uh, fantastic the sharpest images that we can see the most sensitive images it's truly groundbreaking why study dust uh, that's a very good question <laughs> uh, well I'm, I'm of course really interested in, in where it comes from so Remember I said that we're looking at where the solid particles come from in space and we're talking about the building blocks for things like asteroids, uh, the cores of comets and indeed rocky planets or planets like the Earth. But we're also talking about the building blocks of us. We're actually lumps of dust. We're solid things and we've got iron and carbon and silicates and stuff in, inside ourselves. So when you ask where dust comes from, you're asking where planets come from and where life comes from, where the first solid particles formed in space. Um, and aside from that, actually dust is really important in galaxies. It's a tiny fraction of the mass, like a, uh, you know, 1% of the mass of a galaxy, tiny. But it allows stars to form more efficiently. Without dust, you wouldn't get molecular hydrogen, so maybe not even water in galaxies. So it, it plays such an important role in, in lots of different astrophysics, even though it's such a small thing. It's, you know, smoke-sized particles making a big difference to global global things on the universe scale. Okay, thank you very much, Hayley.